KBEW, 1560 AM, is a radio station located in Blue Earth, Minnesota that broadcasts an oldies format. Clifford Hedberg, owner of KMRS in Morris, MN, applied for KBEW's original construction permit, in August 1962 the FCC approved the application for a 250-watt daytime-only station. The FCC originally assigned the station the call letters KCLH, for Clifford Leroy Hedberg, but before its first broadcast the call letters were changed to KBEW to reflect many of the communities in its Faribault County, MN, Syester, Blue Earth, Brisselin, Easton, Elmore, Wells, and Winnebago. From its inception KBEW was managed by Clifford Hedberg's son, Paul, who also held an ownership interest in the station. Paul Hedberg had worked for his father at KMRS before gaining further on-air experience at KRIB in Mason City, IA, and at several of the major radio stations in the Minneapolis ST Paul market, including WMIN, WTCN, WLOL, and KDWB. Listeners within the 45-mile radius of KBEWS signal enjoyed daily staples such as Information Please, a two-part program of recipes and homemaking tips, followed by a call-in segment that invited listeners to comment on subjects of local interest, Barter Time, a free service that advertised used items for sale, and Welcome Travelers, which featured interviews of motorists who were passing through Blue Earth on U.S. Highway 16 en route to the Black Hills and Yellowstone National Park. As Hedberg emphasized in his autobiography, to survive and thrive I was determined to get as many local people on the radio as possible, even if that resulted in some hokey stuff. There was nothing that a big clear channel station in the Twin Cities could do to prevent us from building an audience by being intensely local. KBEW initially broadcast without network affiliation, but the assassination of John F. Kennedy only three months after its first broadcast exposed this shortcoming. In his autobiography Hedberg recalled how the station navigated this difficult situation, reports from Dallas were slow to be updated, so we were left reading the same bulletins over and over until it was verified that Kennedy had died. At news of his death, I phoned a local Catholic priest and asked if he would come to the station and conduct a service on the air, we should have taped it so we could replay it instead of reading the same, stale AP copy over and over again. Hedberg quickly solved the problem, he contacted the manager of an NBC affiliate in a nearby community, KYSM in Mankato, MN, and asked if KBEW could have authority to rebroadcast its network news. NBC Radio agreed to this extraordinary request, with the proviso that KBEW would carry NBC's advertisements but, given the gravity of the unfolding situation, NBC ran no commercials anyway. Hedberg also organized the Faribault County Radio Network to provide blanket coverage of daily local news from neighboring communities. The network initially had correspondents in Winnebago, MN, Wells, MN, and Elmore, MN, other reporting points were set up later in Syester, MN, Amboy, MN, Buffalo Center, IA, Ledyard, IA, and Sui City, IA. As Hedberg noted in his autobiography, radio stations in small towns like Blue Earth generally competed with local newspapers that were published only once or twice a week. A lot of what these bi-weekly papers printed as news became history when a radio station entered the community. The limitations of a daytime-only permit led Hedberg to seek an FM license to complement KBEWM. Hedberg continued to operate KBEWM slash FM until his purchase of KEYC FM in April 1976. Prevailing FCC regulations of the time did not allow Hedberg to own FM stations with overlapping signals, in this case KEYC, which he later renamed Keys FM was less than 50 miles from KBEW, so Hedberg was obliged to sign off KBEW-FM and return the license to the FCC.